in activities uh, as in gardening, in golfing, tennis, and even walking and running. There are tremendous rotational forces that are applied. And often injuries occur when there is not sufficient stability in the core and in the shoulder girdle. So instead of um, moving in the joints where it's safe to move, we take these joints outside of that safe range and then things start getting uncomfortable. So this is a really great one to help build your rotator, rotational support through the core, rotator cuff support, drive the scapular movement, build your core support and glute support and stabilize the knees. Okay, so what you'll, if you have, you can use a band. It's basically an overhead lift and the band is pulling you to the side just like a tennis racket would. The grip is one hand over the other hand, not this way, but one cover the other hand. And the movement is simply arms lift up and then down. You can help me here. Let's do this together. Spread the toes, press them into the floor, engage your glutes slightly, lift the arms up. If you have restrictions at this point in your shoulders, just do partial range. You can even do a small range like this. Okay, great. So let's start. We're going to start with the left side facing the band. And if you would like to just practice this, we don't need a band to do the same thing. But for the first set, the outside hand is holding on. So here I have my right hand is holding on. Then the left hand covers the right. We're going to do the first set with a slight bent knee position. So keep the toes pointing forward, hips slightly back so you've got good core support. And then hold up and then down. If you'd like to, you can do this quickly. And I'd like to do 15 reps, 20 reps. You should be engaging, especially the left glutes and making sure that you're centered as you're providing this rotational force and holding your body, your spine in alignment. Okay, good. Now let's do the other side. So this time the outside hand, left hand is holding, right hand cover left. So let's go toes pointing forward, hips back slightly, neutral spine position, glute activation, and your shoulders should be fatiguing. So you're building a support structure around the rotator cuff. And importantly, when the arms are lifting up, with this action, you're driving the movement of the shoulder blades so that you'll have a good, clean support for your arms and shoulders. Your right glutes here, you should be feeling the outside of the hip, the lateral chain, gluteus medius piriformis, and recover. Okay, let's do one more set. This time, let's do straight leg so we'll get better extension and turn around. And this time, for the internal and external rotators of the shoulders, inside hand hold on, outside hand cover. Great. Okay, so stand, legs are straight, not locked, so knees are always slightly bent, but again, legs straight, glutes engaged really firmly. And as you do this, there should be no twisting of your knees, no rotation of the, of the waist, absolutely not. Shoulders down from the ears, build up your shoulder strength. This is just an excellent move to complement all those other activities where there's excessive motion. You don't have control when you're on the tennis court, but here you're building that stabilization so that you'll be safe when you play. Okay, good. And other side. So this time again, inside hand. So my right hand is holding and left hand. And of course you want to prevent the band, depending on how tight it is, it will pull you in that direction. So no twisting here, stay square forward. Yet use your body to resist over rotation and create proper alignment. Again, notice the glutes, right? So here, the glutes are engaging firmly, hold your pelvis in center, maintain good control of your spine. And then when you're playing baseball, swinging the bat, home runs are all ready to go. Thank you, everybody. My name is Uttara. Please join our classes, send me an email if you have any questions. I love answering questions and you know dealing with various issues that come up biomechanically. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Have fun.